Hi, this is Martha Van Berkel coming from Schema App headquarters in Guelph, Ontario with a new Schema story. These stories are when we take real people who talk about their experience of doing Schema Markup and we talk about sort of the challenges, the pain points, and also the bright stars of the results that they've seen as a result of adopting this new SEO strategy. So today I'm joined by David Cosgrove. Welcome, David. Hey, Martha. Thank you for having me here. And bummer, your, your video is not working today, so I'll have to go to your website to check out uh, your smiling face there. Yes, you will. God bless Windows 10 is all I can say. <laughs> so David, maybe we can just start out by, um, you have a long history in the world of SEO. Um, tell us a bit about yourself and, uh, and about your business. Sure. Um, I've been uh, working in all things digital for 23 years now. I focus on SEO, helping my clients get internet visibility for the past 12, 13 years. And uh, it's been an interesting journey for sure. Uh, from days of where you could stuff keywords onto a page and magically you'd be on page one until the search engine figured out, wait a minute, you can't do that anymore. And, you know, seeing how some of those original organic tools have gradually evolved and some of them actually being taken away from us by some of the search engines, you know, really having to rely on, uh, you know, the, the quality content and all of the other white hat labeled things that you really want to pay attention to and follow to really get search engine success. Excellent. And, and on your journey, when did you first learn about schema markup or structured data? When, when did that sort of come onto your radar? Uh, pretty soon after it was uh, released back in mid to late 2011, when it, you know, when it came onto my radar and I work primarily with WordPress as a platform for my clients. And some of the things that you can do on simple HTML sites where you can go to the structured data markup helper as a simple tool and you can highlight some of the items on your page and then you can see where the code updates itself in real time on the right. And by the time you're done with the exercise, you can copy and paste that code into your HTML page. Like magic, you have structured data markup, but uh, that's nice in theory. It looks great on paper, but when it comes to copying and pasting code into WordPress theme, uh, that's a different story altogether. Uh, over the years, I've tried different plugins to little to no avail. I've tried, you know, rich snippet editors. In some instances, I've, I've seen them. Uh, completely break WordPress websites simply by activating them. Oh, no. Uh, oh, yeah. So, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's been an interesting challenge to try to find some way to leverage the power and the uh, you know, strength of what schema, schema markup offers to SEO. You know, it's kind of like you have all, the, all your on-site, off-site tools, everything, which is kind of above, uh, I, I kind of liken it to uh, an iceberg. Those are the things that you see above the waterline, but underneath it, you know, you have this whole other layer and level of, well, gee, you have schema.org, you have all the other semantic web search, you have all of these other things that you can tap into uh, with schema, and specifically, my instance, with WordPress websites, schema awesome one of the things maybe we'll, we'll, we'll jump to sort of one of the exciting things um, I know you've been doing some testing around schema markup to see how it impacts your website and some of your clients can you maybe share uh, some of the results that you've seen um, in this early stage yeah um, it was really interesting uh, getting into the pool and uh, you know going through the site and marking up se several pages and then creating all the different links back into Wikipedia, et cetera. Um, it was really kind of an eye opener that after about a week, uh, I saw one of my long tail terms, uh, keyword search terms go from page eight or nine on Google to page one. Uh, and you know, if you need any more proof 
uh, or evidence that, gee, there's something to this. I don't know what else you can see. It's, it's interesting you, you mentioned sort of rank because there's often quite a bit of debate online as to, you know, does structured data contribute to ranking? Um, and from your evidence, it, it does. We've also seen um, people go in, in a, even not just long tail, but in competitive keywords from the fourth page to the first page. Um, but what we're, we've recently sort of looked at is John Mueller from Google spoke a year ago, so last September, saying, you know, likely or there's a, a strong probability um, that Google will start, you know, considering schema as input into determining rank. Um, and so as, as a year has passed, it's interesting as we see more and more evidence um, that that just may be the case. I agree completely. Um, you know, and unless you work for Google, and even in that instance, I'm not sure that you know 100% how Google works. So, uh, you know, just, just anecdotally uh, from, you know, rolling this out on my own site and couple different clients sites, I've already seen, uh, you know, evidence of the value of, of what schema markup can really add for your website. Any other sort of um, hard evidence, sort of traffic or, or click-through rates? Um, I can't really get into that uh, for client sites. Uh, my own site, I've definitely seen an uptick uh, in traffic, which is also very encouraging. Excellent. One of the key rants I've been on recently is about sort of the pains around doing schema markup. Um, and I was wondering if you could talk, you know, especially since you have such a long history in the SEO world, can you, you know, talk about some of the, the key challenges? You mentioned WordPress and sort of getting code onto the platform, onto, like implementing the code. Um, any other kind of big challenges or, or comparisons you want to make about, you know, adopting structured data as an SEO strategy versus like link building or, or some other strategies you've learned in the past? Uh, well, that's a good question, Martha. You know, um, as far as uh, implementing it on a platform, uh, it really doesn't get any easier than what I've discovered with Schema app. You install the WordPress plugin, and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Everything is taken care of right on the Schema app website. So as far as ease of use and managing all of your schema.org data, I've never, you know, I don't think it can get any easier than that. And uh, a caveat to that is there, there is a, a very steep learning curve to all of this. It's not, it's mm -hmm. not like you install a plugin and you say, okay, great, my schema markup is all done. No, that's just the beginning. You really need to bone up on you know, the different fields, the different uh, terms that you can leverage, for example, different services that you can, that you can point out to Google, like in my own instance, website design, you know, then you'd want to reference something like that off of Wikipedia so that Google can look at your website, it looks at the schema markup, it looks at Wikipedia, that's just one very short is there, example. Is there, David, is there sort of a comparison of that sort of like that learning curve that you might compare, like learning the schema language to? Uh, that's another good question, Martha. Is it like learning a language, like French or Italian or uh, Czech or something? No, I'd say it's kind of more like learning HTML or XML markup. You know, it, it's really, you have to think programmatically, how am I supposed to tell this search engine what I need, you know, the specific, specific information I need to relate to it. Okay, well, um, you know, and part of the beauty of Schema App is it, it's taken a lot of that out of the equation, streamlined it into an interface where you can just enter your, you know, the specific data points that you need to communicate uh, oh. the other search. Excellent. One of the other um, kind of concepts I've been putting out there, and I'd, I'd love your sort of uh, view of this is is sort of the shift from like thinking about doing code markup to managing the entities or the things on your page or on your website. So for example, for your business, it might be, um, you know, David Cosgrove, as well as your services, maybe a product or your videos um, or your company um, versus just thinking about, oh, I'm doing markup or coding um, SEO optimization for a page. Um, that shift from sort of managing your business and how it shows up on the web 
um, its entities, as we call them, or the things uh, versus code. Any any sort of reaction to that? Um, I guess um, you know, as far as taking it to a higher level uh, and, and being able to manage it from a more efficient perspective is definitely uh, the trajectory you want to follow. You know, you're still going to be knuckle deep to some level. There's no escape. Uh, you know, from code, there's there's just no way. I can, uh, I can hear it now. It's like there's no escape. There is no escape, but. Uh, I say that in a positive light because, you know, after all, you know, it's the nature of the game. Yeah, it is. And, and it's really the nature of, of schema.org and, and structured data. Unfortunately, I, I think sort of you hit the, sort of that pain point right on the head about just it's it's complicated and, and you have to learn the language in order to get those those key benefits. Absolutely. Anything else, David, you want to add? We've run out of time already. Can you believe it? Boy, that was fast. Um, I can't think of anything offhand, Martha, but thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. If people want to get hold of you, David, to continue the conversation, what is the best way for them to reach out to you? Uh, they can find me online at my website, davidcosgrove.com. Uh, they can also find me on Twitter. The handle is at David Cosgrove. Excellent. Thank you so much, David, for joining me today on Schema Stories. Uh, if you have a story you want to share as you sort of embark on this new area of SEO, uh, feel free to reach out to me at martha at hunchmanifest.com or at Martha's Dare on Twitter um, and join us for a Schema Story. Thanks and have a great day.